my name is Zoe and in today's video we are going to be looking at how to layer a shimmy with a camel. So this is a bit of a more advanced um, technique. So if you have not worked on your camels before, if you don't know what a camel is, then definitely please go check out the video where I explain camels in more detail. You need to have those down before you start adding other things on top of them. And if you're a little shaky on your shimmies, you might also want to check out the video on shimmies before going on to this. So if you have seen those movements before, then now is a great time to start combining them. So let's get started. We're just going to review a bit um, our camels and we have different types. We're going to start with the camel in place. Now, if you remember for this movement, it's a lower body movement. We are going to push our hips and pelvis forward, tuck the pelvis in, pull the hips and pelvis back, keeping it tucked in. And now we're going to release the pelvis. And again, coming forwards, tucking back, release, forwards, tucking back, release, smoothing it out. Again, keeping this in our lower body and getting the camel. So that would be the basic camel in place. We can also do a walking camel where we are changing our weight in that case. And this is going to be very important as well when we add the shimmy. Have your weight on both feet as you push forward, tuck the pelvis in, and now as you come back, lift one foot off and release. And then the same thing, switching to the other foot. So both feet as we come forwards, tuck, and then lift one foot, bringing the hips and the pelvis back and release. Forwards, both feet, back one foot, two feet, one foot, two feet, one foot. Again, there is also a video on just the walking camel. So you can also uh, look at that if this is totally new to you. So we're going to be looking at all of these variations of the camel with the shimmy in just a second. Let's do one last version, a little bit harder here. We're going to be on releve. And in this case, we're actually going to be stepping from one foot to the other. So got to work on that balance for this one. So forwards and back, forwards, back, coming forwards, tuck, back, release, forwards, tuck, back, release, stepping from one foot to the other, other side, forwards, tuck, back, release, forwards, tuck, back, release. And then we can kind of speed it up. Again, you want to, um, as you're doing this, try to keep your upper body out of it. Really focus on making this a lower body movement. I love this movement. <laughs> Looks so cool and feels really good. Okay, so those are all of our camels that we're going to be adding the shimmy to. So shimmy, let's start nice and slow here. So we always want to start slow when we're working, I mean, in general but especially when we start layering to really get the foundational technique solid. So just using your knees again to bring those hips up, glutes relaxed, lower abs slightly activated here, just getting a nice loose shimmy. And of course, eventually we will speed it up. So we can just try that a bit just for now. Bringing those hips up, just to remember what this feels like. Of course, we should always be drilling our shimmies. Okay, so let's go back to the slow version. And now let's try to keep that hips going up and down as we push forwards and back. So I can show you from the side. Here, I'm not doing the whole camel. I'm just pushing my hips forward and back at first. So this is kind of the first step, forward and back, nice and slow, forward, back, just to get used to separating, again, separating our knee movement from our torso movement, forwards 
Okay, and once we have that, then we can start trying to slowly add the full camel. Again, really slow shimmy here and slow camel going forwards and back. Forwards, tuck, back, release. Forwards, tuck, back, release. So definitely drill this one until it feels um, okay. And then let's try with stepping from one foot to the other. So this is the same idea, but we're going to be needing our one-legged shimmy. So as you remember, one-legged shimmy, you're just bending the knee of the weighted foot. The other knee is not doing anything. The hip is kind of passively moving because the other hip is moving, but you are not actively bending this unweighted knee. All the work is in the leg with the weight. So now let's do that with our forwards two feet, back one foot. Forwards two feet, back one foot. Forwards. I know it might feel like we're going really slowly, but that's kind of the key <laughs> to getting really nice shimmies and nice layers, is doing the work, breaking it down, getting it slow, and then speeding it up. Forwards, other leg, forwards, stepping. Forwards, step, forwards, Good, and now if you feel ready, try to add that camel. Again, our hips are going really slow, really exaggerated here, and doing the camel with the step. Good, just a few more, then we'll move on to our last version. Hope you're ready, okay, and back, okay. Last version, getting those one-legged shimmies. First, just step forward and back. I'm not even doing anything with the hips here. Just getting used to stepping. Good, and now let's start forward, back. Forward, back. Forward, back. You wanna have your feet pretty close together here or you're gonna lose your balance and back and good. And now we can start to slowly add that camel. Again, not easy, especially going slow here with this one. I think it's hard because of the balance. Let's try the other side. So first just stepping, one-legged slow shimmies, and then pushing the hips forward and back with the step, and then as the last step, trying to add the camel. So yeah, again, the ones where we're releve, it's always so much harder to go slow, but I think it's really good for you. This side is also very difficult <laughs> for me. Okay, great. Let's try all of that with the fast shimmy just to see if we can do it. So speed up that shimmy, and again, forwards, back. Starting without the camel, but just that hip movement, forwards and back, good. And then we can start adding the camel. And if you've done the drills, you've worked on it consistently, you will get it. You will have this wonderful camel with shimmy. And it's so much fun when you have it. Great, so a few more, and then we'll go to the next version. So now forwards and step. And again, you can do it at first without the camel, maybe just with the hips coming forward, still trying to do that fast shimmy. Of course, when you're on one leg, the shimmy slows down a bit. And now let's add the camel. Forward, back. Getting those walking camels. Of course, we can always add arms. Good, and last one. 
fast shimmy, again, just walking, and then forwards and back, getting that feeling in our pelvis and hips, and now we add the camel. And when you've got this, I mean, then you're at pretty high level, I would say. Okay, let's try the other side. So just walking, one-legged shimmy, and then forwards, back, forwards, back with the hips. Good, and let's add the camel. Again, I know it's a lot to think about, but try to keep this a lower body movement here. So, upper body staying still. And a few more. And wow, great job. I know that was a lot. So, um, of course, you don't have to do all those variations. I just wanted to give you kind of a whole bunch of different versions to choose from. You can work on what you like best. Um, start out with the easier version and work your way up to the more advanced version. Uh, let's put on some music and just have some fun drilling all of those. Those were some exercises to get you started adding a shimmy onto your camel. Um, I hope that this video was useful for you. If it was, please do give it a like, um, subscribe to the channel for more videos, share with any friends who might be interested. Thank you so much for watching and happy practicing!